So what is the dollar producing activity in real estate? So I think a lot of agents, especially when they start out, get confused on this concept. And it's the reason why uh, a lot of agents struggle, why they may have a couple closings and then also they have a, a dry spell and they don't have a closing for a few months and that they're not able to ever really uh, have a career with it. They're just kind of able to scrape by. And really what the concept is, is that if you're doing seller servicing uh, and you're taking out a client, uh, they're in your car, you're looking for a home to buy, that's not necessarily gonna get you more buyers uh, to be able to work with so that you can uh, uh, help more people get into homes and help and do more deals. So what a dollar producing activity would be, would be anything that would help you lead generate uh, and actually get more clients. Whereas uh, seller servicing is uh, writing up offers and doing everything that you need to be able to close a deal. So while they're both important, uh, most agents struggle with just spending all their time in seller servicing and not spending enough time uh, generating even when they have clients. Um, and that's really what separates the, uh, the mega agents that are selling 40, 50, 60, 100 homes a year uh, and everybody else that's only maybe selling five to 10 homes a, a year is, is that they spend their time doing dollar producing activities um, much more frequently than, um, than maybe the agents that, that haven't built up their book of business yet.